A man wearing a plaid shirt speaks to the camera from a library filled with catalogued books. The caption reads, Chris Stringer, museum scientist. So uh, a French-led team have been digging a site called Rock Mondrian in southern France. A still image montage of archaeologists dusting and sifting through excavation sites looking for fossils. And they found evidence of a modern human there 54,000 years ago, much older than we thought. So this really opens up a window into this time period of modern humans interacting with the last Neanderthals. It shows the story is much more complicated than we thought and it probably leads us on to wait for even more discoveries from this site and from others in this time window. Why modern humans came into the region first of all we don't know and what caused their disappearance we don't know. It's, it's thought that they may have had an advantage with this particular kind of stone tools they were making called the Neronian industry. This includes very small, what are thought to be projectile heads, either spear points or even arrow heads. Now this may have given them a technological advantage and an advantage in things like hunting behaviour. But whatever it was, the strange thing is it didn't allow them to stay long term. The Neanderthals made a comeback and so it took much longer for modern humans to eventually establish themselves completely and completely replace the Neanderthals. So when we look at the pattern across Europe, we do see these other distinctive industries. There's one in Central Europe called the Bochenitzian. A photograph, three grey oval spearheads with jagged edges. Another photograph of three shiny camouflage green narrow oval spearheads with jagged edges. Uh, there are industries in Britain such as one called the Lincomian. Now these industries are distinctive from the ones that Neanderthals made before. And they're distinctive from the ones that come later, which we know were made by modern humans. So. They're mystery industries, whether they're made by Neanderthals or whether they're made by modern humans. I think the discovery of Grot Mondrian really uh, makes it much more likely that these distinctive industries, such as the Bochenitzian, were in fact made by early modern humans. So you've got these different waves of modern humans coming into Europe, in this case probably up the Rhone Valley, in other cases maybe along the Danube, and these are pioneers of modern humans with slightly distinctive stone tool industries making their way into Neanderthal territory and then strangely disappearing again. I think that you know this find is, is probably the first of many that we're going to get a lot more information about this interaction time of the last Neanderthals and the first modern humans and it will come from more fossil discoveries, more archaeological discoveries, better dating of the sites and also particularly important getting DNA evidence from some of these uh, rather fragmentary fossils and even from the cave sediments because that's a great breakthrough now that you don't even need a fossil in a site. If humans were living there they may have left traces of their DNA and that could be picked up whether it's Neanderthal or early modern human. A photograph of two largely intact human skulls. One is a Neanderthal skull, one is a modern human. Both are completed by patches of grey restoration material. Overlaid on the left-hand side of the photograph is a narrow semi-opaque black rectangle on which the credits are displayed. Film Ben Weber, Josh Davis, Science Chris Stringer, Archive Simlac, Don Hitchcock CC by 4.0, Andrew Brown, CC by 2.0, Music Audio Network. On the right-hand side is the Natural History Museum logo, consisting of the words Natural History Museum, displayed in a column flanked by a large letter N on the left. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright, owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum London.